Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Friday, December the 29th, 2023. Let's take a look at it and see what we got for today. All right, we got some good ones here. Now, you will notice I have one that's maybe slightly different than you. I rerolled complete daily ops while on a team, and I got this one here instead. Now, I have many, many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, if you're a returning player, someone who hasn't played in some time, or even an experienced player, someone who plays quite often, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep them up as updated as I possibly can. Sometimes with your guys' help. <laughs> um, let's take a look here and see what we can do right here in our camp. There's a couple we can do right off the hop here. Uh, scrap drunk to produce steel 10. So steel, very abundant in the wasteland. Most things that you pick up, uh, armor and weapons and tin cans, for example, they have steel in them. And then you can find them and you can scrap them. But as we're doing daily weekly challenges, we could just bulk steel at the good old Tinker's workbench. Let's go ahead and do that. Any old Tinker's workbench will do. Let's go craft. Down here to bulk. Slide it over. Go down to bulk steel. As long as you have two plastic and 30 steel scrap in your stats or scrap box, this method will work for you. So let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Now let's back out. Now let's scrap. Now let's scrap that bulk steel we just crafted. Done. Scrap drunk to produce steel 10 for 10. It's just that easy, guys. It really is. All right, what's next here? Scrap drunk to produce aluminum, five. So again, I have a couple of videos out there showing you some great spots for aluminum. One such spot is on the other side of the map. It's called Quarry X3. It's right down here. It's a little bit of a harder spot there, but there's uh, a blasting cap boxes in there in a little uh, shed, I should say. And uh, you can scrap those, and it'll give you some aluminum. Another good source of aluminum is aluminum cans. Uh, so you can find aluminum cans in Camden Park. And sometimes you'll find aluminum off of robots as well. But if you're just looking to do daily weekly challenges, okay? Basically, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. And uh, you just balk aluminum at the old ticker's workbench. Let's go ahead, Jim. Let's go craft, old buddy. There we go. <laughs> Bulk. <laughs> nope. Go down here to bulk aluminum. As long as you have tenny, ten, tenny. Wow, Jim. Wow, you're having a hard time today, Pally. Ten aluminum scrap. Two plastic in your stash or scrap box. This method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk. Just one aluminum. That's all that we need. All right. <laughs> Let's back out. <laughs> I'm going to be okay, guys. I promise. Scrap. I will scrap that bulk aluminum we just crafted. Done. There we go. Scrap junk to produce aluminum. Easy. Couldn't be any easier. But then again, there's nothing stopping you from going to the wasteland and fighting, you know, steel and aluminum and such, right? And then scrapping it. But just for these daily, weekly challenges, just for some easy score, you might as well just do it the fastest, quickest, easiest way, right? Then we can move on with our day. What's next, Jim? This one here. <laughs> Crafter scrap armor, five. So you'll find armor just laying around the wasteland. You'll find armor sometimes on grafted monsters on Scorched, and on various other enemies, such as uh, Blood Eagles and Cultists, okay? But just for these daily weekly challenges, we might as well just craft a couple pieces of armor and then scrap it right here at our, at our camp. All right, so of course, let's go to our armor workbench here. And we can go craft. I'm going to show you a piece of armor that uh, most of you will know, and it's under light armor. Then you slide it over. I'm talking about these leather pieces. So these leather pieces of light armor, you will learn almost at the very beginning of the game, okay? Let's go ahead. We'll take this leather left arm, for example. It only requires one cloth, one leather, and two steel to craft. Even as a new player, you'll probably have the stuff on you, and you don't even know it. Let's go ahead. We will craft three level ones. See how it... Counts three for five, and now let's back out. And now we're going to scrap. We're going to scrap that leather left arm we just crafted. 
Might as well scrap the last one. There we go. Crafter scrap armor, five for five. Easy peasy. Haven't even left our camp yet. We can make it easy or we can make it hard, right? Huh? <laughs> what is next, Jim? Craft a grenade mine or thrown weapon five. Okay, so thrown weapons. I'm thinking about throwing knives. So throwing knives you learn as a default plan as soon as you leave the vault as a brand new player. So you go to any old workbench on the map. What you do is you go craft. You go down here to thrown weapons. And this one right here, throwing knife. So this throwing knife, it only, as long as you have four steel to make one throwing knife, okay, you'll need a couple of them, of course. But this throwing knife is a default plan you learn as a brand spanking new player. So everyone should be able to do this particular daily weekly challenge. Let's go ahead. We will craft five of them. Done. Just like that. Easy. And then you can sell them. You can drop them. You can use them. Whatever you want to do as a new player. Now, if you are looking to craft mines and grenades, if you are unsure of where to do that, because I do get asked uh, the odd question once in a while, you actually have to craft a mine and a grenade at a tinker's workbench, not a weapons workbench. Okay. And it's right down here. So here's our grenades and here's our mines but the only thing difference is is for some of the grenades you will need demolition expert and sometimes you need sometimes you need demolition expert and science so keep that in mind these ones are a little bit more involved i guess all right so just thought i'd throw that in there what's next jim what is next purple blood eagles leg two okay Let's go to a spot where we can get some blood eagles. Ones that are kind of out in the open. Let's go here. Uh, Widow's Perch pop up here. There's usually three to four up here. They should be able to, to do it. Alright, so we're up here. A good old Widow's Perch. We are looking to cripple Blood Eagle's leg too. You can free aim for the Blood Eagle's leg or you can use Vats. There's a perk card for that. It's under Perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. This allows you to move your Vats around from head, torso, arms, legs. I use I use Vats myself, as you, most of you know. Alright. Now if you do it right, and if you have the right weapon... You can actually cripple left leg, right leg of the same enemy that you're going after. In this case, it's Blood Eagle. Let's go ahead, right leg. Right leg. Okay, so we only got one cripple off that time. That's fine. There's a couple more down here. We'll wait for them to come to us. There we go. Cripple Blood Eagle's leg. Might as well take care of these other guys. These are going to be annoying. If I can get him. There we go. Get this cat way over there. <laughs> nice. Might as well pick up some of these uh, rounds. What do you guys think? This spot's a great little spot for just a couple of blood, e blood eagles. Pretty cool. And that's all we needed. And it's a fairly easy spot as well. Just right here, Widow's Perch. Okay, what's next here, Jim? What is next here? Now we have these two here. Join a team with another player. Which means we have to join a team with another player. Because you guys have seen me do two different ways. Joining a team. Then we have this one here. Kill a creature while in a team. So, you can join a team with another player. And then go ahead and kill some creatures which are everything on the map but humans and robots. So we're talking about ghouls, scorch, cryptids, animals, insects. Those are creatures, okay? However, in this video, I'm going to show you, you know, my two different scenarios that I show you guys all the time. Kill the creature while in a team. Ten, you could do this by yourself. You're the only one on a team, and you're the only one on the map. And there's not, no trick to it just the way it is all right so let's go to a spot 
where there's some creatures. Any old spot will do. Let's pop over here to good old Camden Park. Might as well. Maybe find a few holiday scorch there at the same time. Unrelated to the daily weekly challenge, but scorched our creature. So here we are. We're at Camden Park. What we are going to do, kill a creature while in a team 10. So you can join a team with another player if you're on a public server. Or if you're a person like myself who plays solo a lot, you're on usually on private servers. You can do this on a private server by yourself. That's the most important part. We're going to kill a creature. Anything that's not a robot or a human. And you have to do it while in a team and you get to be the only one on the team. Let's back out. Let's go social. Let's create new team. Any old team will do. Let's back out. So there we go. So there I am. I'm the only one on the team. I'm on a private server. I'm the only one on this map. I sh and I, the reason why I show this is just to give you guys another option, especially for newer players who like to kind of play by themselves. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna lock and load. We're gonna take care of some Scorch down here. See how it's counting. Mr. Jim, he's coming in hot. <laughs> All right, let's get some uh, ammo. Nice. All right. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Oh, we got one there. Nice. Sweet. Mutant Slayer's uh, Fire Axe, that's okay. More inter interested in the Alien Blaster rounds. Of course. Pop over here. The creature while in the team, ten for ten. Don't. That way you don't. Just like that, guys. Just like that. What in the world? Okay, let's get away from that for a while. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I just wanted to kind of show you that that you could be on the team with other people, but you don't have to be this particular day of the challenge okay so now we need to join a team with another player so if i had someone else here on the same server as me we could join a team and complete this one so i actually have to go to a public server to join a team with another player which we're going to do right now i know it's a little bit of a pain but I just wanted to show you guys the difference and give you guys options. Luckily for me, everything loads in fairly quick. Us, I should say. Us. <laughs> Us guys. Us pals. Okay. Okay, we're back here again today. We are on a public server. Join a team with another player one. So I was on a private server. And I was the only one on the server, so we obviously could not complete this one. So we have to join a public one. 
And all we have to do is join another team as long as there's another player on it. Let's open up our social. Am I the only one? Oh my lord, really? No other people are on a team. Ha <laughs> ha! That doesn't happen very often. Create a new team and there's no other teams here. Oh, there we go. Someone popped up there. So someone made a casual team. Let's go ahead and join that team quickly. There we go. Join a team with another player one for one. The other team has to have another player on it. Just like that, guys. Just like that. So that was really quick. And you can stay on that team if you like. You can hang out with them, whatever you want to do. Or you could just do it just to get this daily done to get some score. All right. So we're done. Just like that. Easy. Super easy today. Super easy. We did the vast majority of them at our camp. And uh, I'll definitely take it. Oh, hi. How you doing there? Lurking uh, Shadow, you go ahead. You go ahead, Lurking Shadow. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> Whoa. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.